Hi, my name's Helen and this is my channel, Helen Mary Jo. If you're new here, then welcome. If you're returning, thank you. And if you're a Hell's Bell, hello. I haven't said it for a while, so I'll quickly say it now. Hell's Bell is just a little name for ladies that follow the channel and enjoy my content. And it's the name my daughter came up with for all the beautiful ladies, um, Hell's Bells. So it's nothing, you know, sort of to worry about it's just if you want to be a hell's bell if you like the channel then you're a hell's bell and if you do like the channel i'd be really really grateful if you'd subscribe so that's the admin out of the way <laughs> i'm useless at that stuff anyway um today i've got a finery haul now finery is a brand that is sold in quite a lot of other places too and i did actually buy this from two because they had 25 percent off and um, when this video goes out, that offer will have finished. But there'll be other offers and it's something to bear in mind really that um, I thought that was pretty impressive because a lot of shops like um, Marks, I've just seen a big spider up there. <laughs> as long as it stays up there, I don't mind. Um, a lot of shops, when they do like a 20% off of that, it doesn't apply to brands. So I think it's pretty good that with two, 25 percent that's a decent reduction isn't it so i've got a nice selection of clothes to show you well i hope they're nice that's the idea and um so i'll be getting on with that shortly thank you for i said to mum about the um primark video i said were well, your ears burning and she said why and i said because there's so many lovely comments about you after i told you all about her doing her driving assessment and you know she's like <laughs> stop it <laughs> it's so nice you know because 92 who says anything really much about your 92 apart from like you're doing well and sprightly and all that jazz and she just wants to be a normal woman if you know what i mean anyway so uh yeah so that was good i never told you my little story there's always a story isn't there you know i took the kids Oh, I, didn't, I don't think I said, I told you I had the grandchildren and I'd been to Primark and to the lady who saw us and didn't say hello, please always say hello. I love, I love people saying hello and uh, the kids would have absolutely reveled in it. So never, ever be shy about saying hello. Honestly, I think it's fabulous. So sorry you missed us. Um, anyway, so we went to um Southampton I had the children for the day because Katie was working and uh, we had a lovely lovely time actually we went to Lego good lord I thought it was going to take root in there the kids were so long choosing and um, they'd been given some pocket money so they enjoyed spending that very much they love Lego they cannot get enough of Lego and I kind of don't mind that although I had I do think it's got ridiculously expensive thank goodness it wasn't that kind of money when Henry was young, because although the girls liked Lego, Henry, our son, he was a Lego fanatic. And I think that's, oh, I'm digressing again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> anyway, he, he's now um, works in computing. He's a web designer. So um, he, you know, I think kind of Lego led him to that path really of, of work. Um, so as usual, I digress. So we were in Lego for ages. The other thing I wanted to mention was we went to Carluccio's for lunch and the children's menu in Carluccio's is really impressive. Billy quite often now, you know, he's 11, he's five foot three. And so he quite often has to eat off the adult menu to get a decent sized meal really. But the Carluccio's children's meal was excellent and he ate off there and he couldn't actually eat it all. Oh, there's my phone going. I'm going to have to answer that. Hold on. Sorry. Um, where was I? Yeah. So anyway, they had um, seven nine to five kids meal and they got uh, there was a couple of choices, but they had focaccia garlic bread to start, which was a square of garlic bread about so big. And then they had chicken milanese uh, burger with chips, which was a very decent sized portion. And then they had chocolate brownie ice cream and ice cream and uh, so it was a decent sized portion of brownie with a nice scoop of vanilla ice cream and then like the um, black forest kind of sauce you know displayed 
I think it was the same as an adult dessert. So I was very impressed with that, I have to say. Anyway, so that's a good plug for Coluccio's children's meals because it's very expensive eating out, isn't it? And we only had water. So mine and their meals, I think, came to about £34, £35, which is pretty good. I mean, you could pay that if you went into Mark's for a sandwich and a cake uh, for, for three people. Anyway, um, yeah. So then we were going to the theatre and we were going to see the play that goes wrong. Uh, which was Peter Pan on this occasion. Rob and I have been to see the play that goes wrong in London and it is very silly. And Rob, we saw a little clip on the telly and Rob absolutely loved it. It's not really my cup of tea, but I have to say that when we saw it in the West End, we did really, really laugh and you have to admire, you know, it's all planned and choreographed. So, it, it's pretty impressive actually, and the kids really enjoyed it. However, before we got to the theatre, the theatre, anyone who doesn't know Southampton, the theatre car park is about five minutes drive from uh, like the shopping centre car park. So we left the shopping centre car park about 20 past one, and I just wanted to be nearer to the theatre for when we came out and I had to get the kids back for their swimming lesson. And so we had loads of time, in theory. And I'll make this as quick as I can. So I went to the car park that I intended to park in, not a space to be had. Went to the multi-storey car park, my car's too tall, couldn't get in there. Lowered the car, still too tall, couldn't get in there. Went to the other car park that's multi-storey, that's too small or short, you know, the height is too low for my car as well, couldn't get in there. The traffic was horrendous. There was road work, so there was a one-way traffic system. Oh my goodness. I'm an early, early person. It was gone quarter to two and we were still driving, trying to find a, a car park. So I went back to the first car park and I said to the children, it's fine, we're sitting near the back. If we're late, we just have to, you know, slip in during the production, whatever. Try not to show that I was getting incredibly stressed. Um, and... Uh, so they were like, oh, Nana, it's 10 to 2. And I was like, yeah, I know. Anyway, we drove down to this other, which is a station car park. Oh, my goodness. We drove in and there was the perfect space. I mean, the first space, one that, you know, I didn't have to worry about squeezing into. I was like, thank you. And so parked the car, quickly paid on the Ringo app, got to the theatre one minute to two, we got to the theatre, the show started at two, luckily it was a little bit late started, we got it, I was like, <gasps> <laughs> so, good lord above, I mean, thank goodness, it was, we did get there, and no harm was done, and um, yeah, it was a bit of a wake up call though, so next time I go to the theatre, I'm going to take Rob's car, because it's, it's not a tall car, anyway, always something, isn't there, but best laid plans and all that, because it's honestly no distance. In fact, I said we're going to be far too early for the car park. But anyway, never mind. So that was my disaster, but ended up all right. So as usual, waffling on far too long. Um, so I'll crack on now with this um, finery haul. On the hangers, it looks really nice. So we'll see. So this is the first dress. It's... Um, Finery, they're all finery, so I don't need to say that again. This is size 18. This is called Catalina dress. Now, I paid £51.75 for this dress. It's 98% polyester, 2% um, elastane. So it has got a little bit of give in it, but not really anything much. Long sleeves, buttoned cuff. Um, it's a nice dress. It's got this little... Um, kind of Peter Pan collar that goes into a, a V, which isn't too deep, gathered, no, it's not gathered, puff sleeves, seam, and it's got this little belt. Now, I've got a very long body, so this is quite high-waisted on me, and it's got a pleated skirt. Now, it's really nice. Um, so, the 51.75 would have been with the 25% discount. Now, it, it must be sold out on the site, because every time I click on it, it says, sorry, something's gone wrong. So I don't know if there's something wrong with their website or um, it's sold out, but 
I'm, I'm sorry. I will put the link on if I can find it online. Um, so I'll show you the dress and stop talking. I've got it on with heels because I think it is quite a smart dress. It's got a nice feel to it. It's a good length. It's not too long. It's not too short. Um, it's a very easy to wear dress because it's it's kind of fitted at the waist, but it isn't, you know, it's not slim fitting. So it's very easy to kind of sit down. It won't, won't crease um, if you have to wear it in the car, you know, or sit down for dinner or something. There's nothing worse is there when you've got a lovely dress on. When you sit down for a meal and when you get off, it's got all those lines across it. So I think it's quite a flattering dress actually. I've also got it in the royal blue because I might keep one and I thought, well, I might as well order them. It's so easy to take these back. So I just take them back to our little Sainsbury's. And you can always put a nice um, leather belt on here. I've got a lovely black leather belt, which would look nice and kind of elevate the style of it, I think. So yeah, I'm quite impressed with that dress to be fair. It's not, it's not generous. It is, it's a true size 18. I did have to undo the zip. I might have been able to pull it on, but you know, and the seam is there. So it is, it is high waisted, but then I've got a very long body, but that's more flattering really for it to sit up there probably. I don't know. Anyway, you can, you can make your own minds up. So that's number one. So this is it in the royal blue. Lovely color, isn't it? Um, and so everything's exactly the same, same fabric and everything else, same price, size 18. Um, and I did, I, I tried pulling this one on because I know sometimes these zips are a bit of a, a pain, aren't they? These invisible zips when you're on your own trying to get that done up if you're not so mobile. But um, yeah, I mean, I like this one too. Nice cheerful colour, good length. Everything about it still stands from the last one, really. Um, I think sometimes on camera you can see the dress better in a colour, if that makes sense. So if you, even if you want to buy it in black, you can see the detail more on the camera when it's um, uh, a colour rather than, than black, which can get hidden in the shadows. So a pretty good looking dress for, I know I paid 52, what was it probably like 65 or something? I, I can't do the maths, but um, I'm sure, I'm sure you will find it online if you wanted to, it's called Catalina. So that last dress was 69 pounds. I just saw a little price tag on one of them. And um, so now this is a two piece. It's um, this blouse. Uh, which is lovely fabric. It's like a satin back crepe. Very, very nice weight to it. Not flimsy at all. Feels like really nice quality. Very fitted. It's um, darted and then it's got the little kind of peplum on the top. And uh, it's a snug fit for an 18. It is snug, but it, it's it's fine. It's a little bit, I would probably, if I was keeping it, because it's got these rouleau loop, elasticated rouleau loops with the self-covered buttons, which is very nice. Um, and the little placket behind that kind of bridges the gap is a little bit, it's just pulling a little bit. Now a different bra might sort that out, even putting my boobs in a different place might, <laughs> over my shoulder. <laughs> You know what I mean? Different bras can have a different effect, can't they? But um, yeah, I mean, actually just doing that has helped. So it's very fitted. Um, the sleeves are a little bit shorter and a little bit tighter than I would like, although I don't think they look too bad. And it's got this very nice long collar. It's kind of quite 1940s, isn't it, in style? And I don't think you can go wrong with a, with a polka dot, really. Um, and then it's got this bias cut skirt, which is just on an elastic waistband. And I think it's very flattering, actually. I'll show you, it's just pull on. Um, very, very easy. It's nice, isn't it? It's got a really nice feel to it. I love a bias cut skirt. 
They always just look classy. I don't know why. Very useful ensemble because you could just wear this with a black jumper. You know, it'd look nice with a black cashmere sweater or an ivory sweater. Um, you could wear the blouse with a plain black skirt. So you do get more value for your money. It's the postman. Um, but I guess the two pieces together full price would be just short of £100. They'd be £98. So it's not, you know, it's not inexpensive, but it is very nice quality. It feels like quality and um, I don't think it would crease at all. It fits nicely at the back. It's, um, yeah, I think it's lovely. So I'm impressed actually. I have had a couple of finery bits before, but not too many. So I've got another um, two piece to show you and then possibly a jumpsuit. You know me and jumpsuits, it's always a bit hit and miss, isn't it, whether they work or not. So I, I like this, I like it a lot. Hope you do too. <laughs> so I got the jumpsuit on. Um, as I've told you a lot, I am long in the body. But this one is okay. It's um, just about okay. Bit of a wangle to get it on, but it's got the buttons here and then a zip fly. It's a lovely black velvet, very soft, very comfortable. Beautiful pearl flower buttons. Um, same on the sleeve. Again, because of my arms being a bit big on the top, I would have preferred it a little bit looser. This is an 18. Um, I don't think finery go up bigger than an 18, but it does fit and it doesn't look too bad. I don't think. But I would have to wear heels with it, which does limit it somewhat. And it's still a little bit long for me, but then I have got really short legs. But um, I don't know. It'll be one of those, I'll judge it on the camera jobbies. Um, so it fits nicely. It's not pulling. It uh, feels very comfortable, very easy. Um, so I think, did I say it's £89? Which is, you know, up there. But then it is a whole outfit, isn't it? So I like the shape of the legs, they're not too wide. Um, they've got kind of cleats here. Sorry, I'm not sure. That's because I wasn't talking to her. Little um, inverted cleats here, which give you that bit of kind of movement. So yeah, it's not bad, but I'm not sure that it is better on me than a dress, really. That's the bottom line, isn't it? You have to, for all, you know, I do love jumpsuits on other people. I always think they look really nice. There's a big lump here where the, where the spare button is, so you would need to cut that out. But um, yeah, it is, it's a good one, if that's what you're looking for. And I think um, because of the wide leg, it's quite flattering around here. So yeah, I'd give it, nine out of ten as far as jumpsuits go not that anyone was asking <laughs> but it was all going so well wasn't it and then i got to this two piece now i don't know what is going on here i just don't know what to say really this is um i paid um da, 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 33.75 for each piece so i'm guessing they were like 45 pound Look at this. What on earth is going on? I mean, it's just bizarre. It's got an elasticated waistcoat. I think they fell asleep when they were making it. I mean, it's just, it's just hilarious. I, I got it out and I thought that's weird. But anyway, it's a knitted skirt. Look, I could like put six inch tuck in the back. Um, it's a knitted skirt and top. I, I just can't waste any time on it really. I mean, what is going on with these sleeves? It's a shame because it might have been quite nice if it had have um, fitted. 
Oh, hold on, there's my phone. Yeah, sorry about that. So, um, I, I just don't know what's going on. I mean, these are getting beyond the joke, these sleeves, aren't they? I mean, I don't think I've got short arms. But anyway, such a shame because everything else in the hall was good. I won't be keeping the jumpsuit because I nearly thought I was going to have to wait for Rob to get, get it off to wait for him to come home. So, um, yeah, that's not going to work for me. So that's the finery haul. As I say, they do sell it in quite a few places. So if there was anything that you liked there that you can't find on the two website, then um, look around for it is what I would say because, and it may well come back in, you know, I'm gonna be returning probably, every, maybe, I don't know. I don't know, I might keep the black dress, but really do I need it? Probably not. Um, so, but I was impressed with the quality and um, that's always something, isn't it, really? So that's that's been this haul. I'm not sure what will be next, but it, I might do a live on Wednesday. But if I do, I will do a short, you know, one of those shorts that you see and I will tell you and I'll put it on my Instagram. I know most of you aren't on Instagram, but um, I will put it on there and I will do a short to promote it but um, it kind of depends what, what's happening when I'm coming back down from London. So that's me. Um, hope you have a good week and I'll see you really soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.